Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let us go through the differences between file system and database system. So basically, when in the previous centuries and previous time, they used to store the data in the files, guys. Basically, they, they used to store the data in the files. Okay. So there are many drawbacks with the file system, guys. So the drawbacks are data redundancy. Data redundancy is nothing but duplicate files, guys. We used to have multiple duplicate files. Similarly, we are having the issues of retrieving data will be really low. It is really slow and access of, access of data will be really tough in file normal files and data isolation. We, we used to have different formats, right? We, have, we can have text file, we can have doc file, we can have times new Roman text, we can have size from 0 to 100. Like that we are having many many variations. So this also will make problem in file system. And even data security is less when compared to database management system. And there are many transaction problems. So updating values is really complex. So that is the reason why the transactions are not so efficient in file system. Fine. Okay. So now let us go through the main differences guys. So one after the other will be going through them. Don't worry. Fine. Okay. So initially file system. Software that, mo that manages the data files in a computer system is nothing but file system. Whereas database management system will be creating it and will be managing the database according to our requirement. Okay, guys, I'll be giving you an introduction so that you can read the points, guys, because if I read the points, it will be just like uh, reading a PPT or anything like that. Fine. Okay. So data inconsistency. So inconsistency or consistency is nothing but inconsistency means we will be having multiple copies of that particular file in different different locations. So that is possible in file system, whereas in DBMS, the whole files or whole database is stored at a particular location. So that is the reason why data consistency solu solution will be finding in database, whereas it is a problem in file system. Let us continue. And data isolation. Isolation is nothing but we will be having different formats of uh, writing files, right? So we can have Times New Roman or Bolt, Italics, like that. We are having many combinations. So these things, they look really easy, but they make the searching or retrieving data a complex. So that is what we will be calling as isolation. So we'll be having different formats. But here we will be having a standard format and everything will be following in that way. Okay. Further continuing. So there is a problem of data redundancy in file system. So we may have multiple copies of data. We can just type it. There is no problem in file system. Whereas in database system, we can have some conditions like constraints or anything and we can decrease the re redundancy guys. So we'll be learning about this redundancy and re reducing it in the normal forms and normalization. Okay guys. Fine. Let us continue. File system. It helps to store a collection of raw data files into the hard disk. So it is just a collection of raw data. Whereas database management is nothing but we will be storing and retrieving the data from the database. So database is an organized way of allocating the data or arranging the data. Fine. Let us continue file system. So tasks such as storing, retrieving and updating is done manually in file system. Whereas in database system we will be doing with the SQL queries. So I hope everyone got a small idea on this. So let us continue with the differences further. Okay. So backup and recovery of data is not possible in this file system. Whereas it is possible using rollback and many other commands in SQL or database management system. So now I hope everyone got a small idea on this. So in the next tutorial, we'll be going through view of data. Thank you. Thanks for watching.